Very warm welcome to you to the French capital, to the Parc des Princes here in Paris, where it's a beautiful evening. Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith. League 1 uh, action for you today. This looks like a really good game, Alan. Should be a good one. A lot of talk about the tactics these two managers are likely to employ. Beforehand, we'll soon find out. Given away by PSG. Paris Saint-Germain. This is their lineup. Keylor Navas in goal. Pablo Sarabia starts with Ander Herrera in midfield. Only one up front in terms of an out-and-out forward. And as for the opposition, this is their starting eleven. It does look more like 4-4-1-1 than 4-4-2. Yes, I think so. I mean, it gives the manager the option of stiffening his midfield. And when they get the ball, you know, that number 10, if that's what you want to call him, behind the centre forward. Paradise! Well, the keeper's got that. And uh, Herrera. It's a shot. How's he reached that? Full stretch. That's an incredible save. He's put in the corner. Put away, but not out of harm's way. What a goal that would have been on the volley. Yeah, the crowd were on the feet. They thought he'd done it. Here's Alan McAnally, chance, Alan, just to tell us about what I believe is a goal in your match, the Leon match. It's a goal for Leon. Nine minutes played, 1 0. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. Being closed down now. Parades. A very strong defence, the best defence in the division against a side that just can't find the back of the opponents net, the lowest scoring side that we have in this company. They'll find it hard to get goals, I think, against a defence as strong as this one. Those visiting strikers really have been short on confidence. Off the post! Cleared away by the defender. Fine margins down there. Woodwork playing its part, but if they keep on playing like this, I think the goal will soon come. Would have been a chance, but for the tackle. Throw in for Paris Saint Germain. Now, can he cross it? A great chance to go in front. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Pablo Sarabia. Oh, he's done really well, the defender there. Now there is some space in the wide area. A good piece of defending with the interception. Maybe to set up a counter-attack. That's a straightforward effort, really, for the goalkeeper. Catching practice. Nelson. Ah, he'll feel good about that. A really strong and clean tackle. He's got possession back for his team. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attack and the chase. Hit the first man with the cross. He's been forced just to knock the ball forward by the press. Kim Tembe. Paradise. This is the kind of football that the opposition are struggling to deal with as PSG pile on the pressure, trying to get in front. Charbonnier. So easy in possession. Oh, the build-up looked good there until the interception. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Totally unmarked in the middle. And we can bring you up to date from Toulouse, where Alan McAnally is uh, watching the game and has got a goal to tell us about. It's a goal for Monaco. 31 minutes played. 
Sarabia. It is the first goal of the contest and it's gone to PSG. That's what they were waiting for. It was almost an air of, well, we expected this when the goal was celebrated. Nothing too extravagant. I think they know they're the better side and they expect to win. No, I think they do. There's a certain swagger to their play. Uh, and in a self-belief, they know they're better and they're showing it out on that pitch. News from Alan McAnally it was uh, rather <laughs> abruptly cut off then, wasn't it? Monaco have scored in the game that he's watching, just to uh, underline that for you. The score is now 1-0. Paredes and uh, Herrera. Well, here's Alan McAnally. Chance, Alan, just to tell us about what I believe is a goal in your match, the Leon match. It's a second goal for Leon. 37 minutes played. And the keeper doing his job. Paris Saint Germain have given a steady performance to this point. They have uh, their noses in front. They'd like to have a wider lead, I'm sure, and maybe the second half they'll be able to achieve that. Probing away, work. Surely he must score! Really snatched at the shot, and it's gone well wide. Well, apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally there. Confirmation for you that Leon did score in that game. They are winning 2 0. And that was a very well timed tackle. And he blocked it then. They can be quick on the break now. Frustrating for them, really. That was the opportunity to play on the break, but it's broken down. For two more minutes to play, that of added time. Well, this is where the space is at the moment, on the flanks. In a great position to pull it back successful tackle well, that's half time at 1-0 referee just checking everything is in order and he blows for the second half to start Saw the direction of the pass. Makes a challenge here. And uh, Herrera. PSG trying to pull the strings with their passing here. I think the passing's got to carry a bit more purpose here. He's given the free kick. It's in a really threatening position, too. Oh, he's so capable from this distance, Martin. Very capable indeed. You called it, Alan. In it goes. Oh, he's got the bend and the whip on it. Perfect. Keeper didn't quite know whether to stick or twist. In the end, he's left space behind, and what a chip that was. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Diallo. Now Billy Sharp. And upcoming for you on EA Sports, we have League 1 action for the away side. It's their next game, incident.
Bentley. Could have been a decent pass. The interception absolutely crucial as it's turned out. Still trying to get to the very top of European club football, Paris Saint-Germain. And as we understand it, they're going to the market again. Well, all the fans are excited about it, Martin, and I bet the player is as well. I bet uh, he's desperate for the move to go through. Taking on the defenders. Free kick now for Paris Saint-Germain. It's been a free-flowing performance from a, a forward who, if you give him any space, and he's had the space today, he's going to punish you as a defender, and he's dominated the defenders who've tried to stop him today. Yeah, we know he's got plenty of skill, but you've got to ally that with work rate, and he's done that today. Doesn't always do it, to be fair, but he has here. It's going well for the home players and their supporters. Uh, the away players finding it hard in the match, and the fans now getting very frustrated. They think that there is some jiggery-pokery going on here. Well, it's uh, predictable, I suppose, but maybe even the home fans are a little bit unhappy. They want to see their team go for one or two more goals, but that might be a bit of a reckless thing to do now. And uh, Herrera, Paredes, got the ball back in his own penalty area, though. Play on, says the referee. Now they can uh, launch a counter-attack. They've got the ball back by that interception. This could be promising. Time to check in with Alan McAnally, who's at the Toulouse game. I think you've got a goal to tell us about, Alan. It's a second goal for Monaco. 69 minutes played, 2-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Good vision. Brave blocking. Well, he has cleared the danger. Nelson. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. Good defending, no problem in the end. Paris Saint-Germain are ready to make a switch now. Pablo Sarabi, cross is blocked here. Cleared the ball. Strong play by Paris Saint-Germain to win the ball back. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. Clever feet there to go inside his man. Very close in and very close to the target. Perhaps could have done better. Yeah, an unusual choice, I think, just to try and get power behind it from so close in. Paredes with good vision. Top performance from a top team, and they've emphasised their superiority with the number of goals that they've scored. Well, this is X-rated stuff for these defenders to have to watch, but I'm sure they will. In the next few days, the manager will be wanting to know what on earth they're playing at. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Diallo, sharp. The build-up is patient. And the pass not completed, really. And on the clock, eight 
more minutes. I'm hearing there's been a goal up Gangon where Alan McAnally is there for us. It's another goal for San Etienne. Six minutes remain. 4 1. Thanks, Alan. Paredes guiding it through. It's with Herrera. He's going to try it. Brilliant defending. It saved a certain goal. He was almost wheeling away to celebrate there. Well, maybe the counter attack is on here. Read the intentions. Read the play well. That's a good challenge. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Now Billy Sharp. A wonderful piece of defending from this fella. And uh, Herrera. And there we are, final whistle. And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Parc des Princes. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. 
And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Ajax. Well, thank you, Derek. Hello, everybody. Well, it was a fabulous start to their Champions League campaign as far as PSG are concerned. Three points from their opening game, a really solid start. Same performance as last time surely means another three points. From the bake. Well, they just let his opponent glide by. Van de Beek. Can they put it away? Under real pressure defensively. Will they pay the price? And the PSG team looks like this. Alphonse Areola starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Neymar plays with Leon Goretzka in the centre of midfield. And he is a flexible young player. Today he's the lone front runner, Ousmane Dembele. Well, they're getting right on top of their opponents at every turn. Well, here's the starting lineup for Ajax. It does rather look as though it's going to be a battle of the 4 5 1 formations in this game. Similar setups, Lee. Well, it looks lovely in the graphic, doesn't it? There's players everywhere. They have got the freedom to roam around the pitch how they see fit. There is some structure to it, but that lone striker up front needs support, not only around him, but from wide areas of two. The supply line will come from the wide midfield players and maybe the overlapping fullbacks. Turning inside, where's he going to go? Daly Blint going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Lee, what are you expecting from Mbappe? Well, as soon as you start putting the ball in the net, three goals in the last three games, that breeds confidence. And when you've got a player that sharp in front of goal, he's a huge asset to the team. Must score! And a wonderful save. All types of save keepers make, but that's really important. Look how close the striker gets. Elects to go short. He cuts it back. Tadic. Pogba. It's with Vinicius Junior. Vinicius Junior. And crossed in the direction of the back post. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, Derek, I could watch this all day long. I can't tell you how difficult this technique is. Look at it come in from the wide area. Bang on the volley. What a goal. And underway again here with PSG in front. Given away by Ajax. Van der Beek. And that was a... It's got to be! The goalkeeper relatively untroubled. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to let that one in, Derek. It's an excellent attack from PSG. But will there be an end product? Running towards goal. And in the back of the net for PSG. That lead extended to two now. Well, look at this, Derek. Sometimes the opposition are all set up perfectly for you to dribble through them. It's almost like he's playing FIFA. He goes through and puts the ball in the back of the net. It's brilliant. So, 2-0 now. Ball with Nicolas Tagliafico. Caro Eiting. Leon Goretzka. Vinicius Junior. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Now just couldn't keep the ball. Tadic. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. 
PSG possession stats are pretty bad. And they could do damage. Big chance it is. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, look at it again. I do question the defenders, but let's give credit to him. What a wonderful solo effort. And he still has the presence of mind to finish it off. What a brilliant solo goal. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. It's with Musa Konate. Karel Eiting. Dembele on the ball. They've regained possession. Mbappe with it. Minier. Dembele. Leon Goretzka. Dembele. They could pick out a teammate. It wasn't an especially high-quality header, was it? Well, that was like one of mine, or more to the point, like one of yours, Derek. You're spot-on with that assessment, Lee. Marquinhos. Konate. Tadic. Very quick thinking there. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Pogba has it. Vinicius Jr. No nonsense clearance. So the corner played into the box. Not to be this time. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. Pogba goes into the book. Yeah, and there's no doubt about that. Good decision from the referee. This is Neymar. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Thiago Silva. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Tadic. The delivery towards the back post. Well, the clearance half-hearted. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the pack. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? In possession, Eiting. Van der Beek. Konate. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? It's with Musa Konate. Firing it towards goal. Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. It'll be a corner. And teammates to play it to. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Mbappe with it. Goretzka. Space on the flank. Goretzka. Superb save from the keeper. Well, that's what you're paying for. Defenders defend. Goalkeepers make saves like that. More action from Liga coming your way. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus Montpellier. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup. Atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. Tadic has it. 
Prince. It's with Musa Konate. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. This is Thiago Silva. Minier. Verratti now. Neymar. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. I must say, this looks promising. Van der Beek. It's with Musa Konate. Well, not really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of, Lee. Well, he did have other options, but he thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a go. What a shocking pass, really. An attack full of promise. And passing with a velvet touch. And it all counts for naught. And when a player is successful, he's always going to be linked with other clubs, and there seems to be more than a hint of truth. Sumptuous pass from Neymar. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Dembele and Neymar. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Here's Marquinhos. Marin. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. The delivery. Quite simply, not clinical enough with the header lead. Well, headers are always difficult. It's always all about timing and he got the timing completely wrong there PSG on the move with purpose what can they do from this particular position it has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in Tagliafico well, just couldn't keep the ball Idrissa Gay Goretzka robbed them Tadic has it couldn't keep the ball well visionary passing and it might be and that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. And now Gay, Verratti. It's an excellent attack from PSG, but will there be an end product? A glorious chance. A very attractive looking move, easy on the eye, but nothing there. Van der Beek. Dusan Tadic. Labiad. Extremely sloppy in possession. Happy to take on the shot. The shot wasn't really far enough away from the goalkeeper, was it? No, but he picked up the flight nice and early. Goretzka. Unable to keep the ball that time. Dembele, Leon Goretzka. And that was a very fine read. Just 10 minutes to go. Ajax, ball lost. Verratti. And played in.
Dusan Tadic. Dangerous looking through ball. Not even close in the end, Lee. Well, he's had a go, Derek. He's gone for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there, was it? Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Razvan Marin. Tagliafico. Dusan Tadic. Marin. Good technique displayed. And they've won possession again. Just a couple of minutes left for play. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Beautifully disguised ball. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, Derek, it's all about the cross. It's perfectly weighted, and he attacks the ball. That's the key to that goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Alvarez now. Van der Beek. Labiad. So, the full-time whistle, and another three. It's an excellent attack from PSG, but will there be...